Hey, so we finally warmed up in Michigan. So uh, before the season gets on, what I like to do is give my rig a big clean down. And I had mentioned before that we were gonna do a little outdoor maintenance as far as um, slide like lubricating, um, hitch lubricating and um, clean up of the rig. So I wanted to show you real quick a few of the products that I'm using and I'll also take you through some of the steps that I take during this whole shakedown, including water sanitation in the rig while I'm flushing out the system from the winter. I ran to Walmart and I picked up some of my, um, actually I got this, the rubber roof sealant the slide lubrication and of course the dawn at walmart um the mcguire's wash and wax is for the aluminum parts of the rig and i picked this big bottle up at um at costco it was very reasonable so these are the products that i use the dawn by the way is for the rubber roof that is per recommendation of the maintenance of the jaco and that's so that we don't void any warranty so the dawn and the camco rubber roofs um, cleaner and conditioner um, those are products that were recommended by jaco so i want to make sure that i definitely don't nullify that warranty um, also i will use some dicor um, lap sealant i'll double check every single seam that i have and make sure that everything's all sealed up no cracks no nothing fraying and um, per jaco recommendations you're supposed to uh, remove all that dicor and replace it every year once a year i did not know that the dealership did not inform me of that so i'm gonna get up there and take a look at what we got a few trips without our um, car seat protector by Barks Bar um, with our children and they have made a hot mess of my truck so I need to get this cleaned up before we start using this on a regular basis I'm gonna kind of scan you in here and I don't know if you can see the big mess all the hair all the stains and that center seat is not um that is not wet it is stained and so um i am cleaning it up oh, i know this is kind of difficult but you can see all that little white hair oh the joys of having a pyrenees mix but anyway today i'm gonna attempt to use a new product to me it is called um and this is not a promotion at all but it's called zep um pet stain and odor remover and so we're going to try this out to see how it gets all those hard stains off the fabric of my truck today. I got the shop back out and I'm starting to get all that hair out. I'm using a, one of those lint rollers, sticky lint rollers. We're going to get it all cleaned out today and I'll show you some pictures once I'm done. I'm actually fairly, they're still damp, but I'm actually fairly happy with how that zip worked. So just a little housekeeping thing. Uh, we're sanitizing the freshwater tanks and the recommendation is 
a quarter cup of bleach, just regular household bleach, for every 15 gallons of fresh water holding capacity in your tanks. Ours is a 76 gallon, which is one of the reasons why we love our Jayco 24 RBS. Um, and it's a 76 gallon fresh water, and so I had to use a cup and a quarter. And I would dilute that down in approximately two gallons of water. Now, what I did um, first is I put a little bit of water into my fresh water holding tanks so that I could flush out the system after the long winter. Once all the pink juice is gone out of the pipes then, I would get my bleach solution and I will pour it into my garden hose or RV hose, my white hose, for my potable water. Um, at then I would, I connected my Camco spout, which has an on-off. I connected that to the one end and I turned it so that it was in the off position. That way the bleach wouldn't just drain right out of the hose. And, um, and then I hooked the other end of the hose to the city water. And that way I could come and um, proceed to flush, put it into my fresh water tank. Uh, you'll want to make sure that it is the fresh water tank and not your black tank flush. So I filled this in. I put that in there and I filled up my tanks roughly about halfway. After that happens, um, I did have to let it sit overnight. Um, they recommend eight hours, but I just let it sit overnight before I um, went ahead and uh, ran that through the system um, and drained it out. Um, after you drain out your um, bleach solution out of your fresh water tank the next day, then you will um, fill it with just potable water. And at that point in time, you will then flush that through until you no longer smell a bleach coming out of your taps. Um, it's important to note that when you flush out the system, uh, you want to, and you have pink juice or the antifreeze in your system, you want to make sure that you do not run any antifreeze through your hot water tank. After you, in between the flushing of the pink, the antifreeze and putting in of the bleach solution, you will want to make sure that you switch your bypass so that then I did fill the hot water tank with the bleach solution. Uh, when you drain it all out, you want to make sure that I, I let a little bit drain out of a, the hot water heater and that way I no longer have any bleach solution in there at the end. Um, I did want to show you real quick before I go inside for the night because it is supposed to snow again here in Michigan. It's incredible. 60 degrees one day, snow the next. Anyway, right here I wanted to show you what I did with my hot water heater because this um, fitting right here is such a booger to get that little cheap plastic plug in and out of between here and here. There's just not enough working room. So I went down to the local Ace Hardware store and I got a little brass fitting and it's half inch to half inch, which will fit one of these bathroom drain, um, drain, I don't know what they call them, pipes, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, this makes it so that I can now drain my hot water heater with an on off valve, which is kind of cool. So I just thought I'd give you that insight, that tip, and it tucks very nicely over here. It does not interfere with anything um, with the 
ignition it doesn't get too hot I've come out and checked on it and it's been perfectly fine set up like this and um, I'm not sure what that does to my warranty but you know what it's a lot easier to maintain so anyway I kind of got the bleach solution out of my hot water heater and now I've refreshed my whole system with fresh potable water and I am good to go um, again, make sure that the dilution ratio is a quarter cup of bleach to 15 gallons of, that, of your holding tank. So you have to do the math, but make sure you do dilute it down. I just flush it through the um, fresh water hose um, just to kind of give it a little sanitation from sitting around for a little while. If you do not know how many gallons your um, fresh water tank holds, look on the yellow sticker on your door. It will tell you how much it weighs. Um, divide that by 8.3 pounds per gallon and you will get approximately how many gallons your fresh water tank is. Also, you want to make sure that as you start to flow water through your system, you're going to want to double check every single fitting that you have in your trailer to make sure that there is no leakage going on, as it is common that these will leak. If you have found any of the information on this video entertaining or useful, please give us a thumbs up. It'll sure help our channel out. Join us this next Wednesday um, as we're going to share a new adventure with you guys. Hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out. If you enjoy any of the information on my channel, please share it with one of your friends.